up y'all that is a tune called Tatterjack walsh and it's one that i recorded with my friend patrick uh, about a month ago and i thought it would make a good one to do more of an advanced demonstration or advanced breakdown of ornamentation and breathing technique and phrasing and things like that since i haven't really dove into that side of it on the flute before i'm going to start as always by running through the basic melody but I'm going to include some of the what I would consider more basic ornamentation too, and I'm not going to break down the melody too much because I figure you can already get that. This one is really more a matter of learning some of those more advanced techniques. So here's the basic melody, and I'm going to play it on the keyless flute. once through the A part, we'd run that again. Hopefully you can hear some of the spots where I already threw in some basic ornaments, some rolls, some tonguing to give it that jig groove, which we're going to spend a fair bit of time on breaking down. Here's the B part, which jumps up to the high A. Hopefully you get the basic melody down from that. Let's dive into some of these more detailed ornaments. Now the roll is of course the most bread and butter basic fundamental ornament in Irish music and particularly with jigs it's got that that jig groove baked right in and you want to make sure you hit that when you're playing it. So the first note's a little bit longer. couple of different options. So you can do a full cran when you land on that D or pop that note as you land on it. Either way it gives it some some punch I think. As I hit that E that's where I'm doing that double tap. Double cut, excuse me, double cut grace note, which I've demonstrated on slower tunes, but it works pretty well in some of these faster tunes, particularly on the E, at least for, for me it does. And then back into that roll again. And as you land on that G, that's where it's time to bust out one of those cool flute tricks. Doing two or three things at once. When I land in that G, you can hit a crossing noise, which has a nice popping effect on its own. It's very subtle, and you can punch it with your breath. So as you're doing that crossing noise, hit it with a little bit of diaphragm, and it really punches that note up. Here's an exercise that I think is worth doing because it's a good jig rhythm and it's a phrase that turns up a lot in a lot of jigs. So it goes like this. It's the most basic version. If you want to punch it up, you can add in a few ornaments, a few taps. Something like that. But getting that movement down and that triplet rhythm, that triplet groove, which is so fundamental to jigs, I think might help. Just running that once or twice, getting that in your fingers, particularly before you go to play a jig. Now the B part of this tune has an arpeggio in it, which I've mentioned a lot on the channel, mostly because you can do some kind of cool stuff with it. So... That's your basic melody. Now 
Going from the F sharp to the D, I really like popping that note. Hitting each one of them is another option, accenting each of those three notes. That's one of my favorite moves to do. A triplet, or excuse me, a roll followed by an extra tap. Has such a nice chirpy kind of sound, I think anyway. And then triplet in there, another one of my favorites. There again, that, that extra loud crossing noise breath ornament on the low octave G we just did in the first part, doing it again here in the second part. The whole thing there. There again, landing on the low one. And then triplet back up to the top. Hopefully this gave you some decent ideas, some ways to play this tune. As always, with any of these tunes, find some other versions. Look around, scour the internet for various options for this one. And I bet you'll find a lot, because it's a pretty common session tune. It's a very popular tune. I heard it from the band Dervish, with Seamus Tansy playing with them. So there's that version, there's probably loads of others. So check it out, let me know what you all think, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers, y'all.